Okay, I hope everyone is doing well this morning and that we're all in good health. Um, yeah, so I typed our topic for today in the chat and we just want to discuss how we can be able to, um, um, I'll say enhance. Yeah, I know we already have a, a positive, I believe we already have a positive um, work environment here at Morocco, but how do you think we can be able to enhance this or create a more positive or happier um, work environment? Yeah, um, I'm sure that we all know that, you know, uh, you know, when you create a positive or a, a good work environment, you know, then employees or your colleagues people who are working there are, you know, are more satisfied, you know, they feel more at peace, uh, you know, when they're doing their work. And also the fact that, you know, for most people, um, let's say during the day, you know, you find that you spend most of your time actually working. Yeah. So it's just important that, you know, that the workspace so where you're doing your work, um, even though we're working remotely, you know, um, that it has to be a positive um, environment or, a, you know, a free environment. Yeah. So um, you guys can feel free to share your thoughts, your ideas. How can we be able to work together? as colleagues or as workmates to you know to enhance um our work environment to be more positive or to be like a happier space for um yeah can you, can you hear me yeah, yeah, can hear you. Okay. Um, something that uh, just came to my mind uh, is that uh, the communication between uh, employees, between uh, the colleagues, is really important. Like what we are doing every morning here, you know, talking together, uh, yeah. with mindset sessions, it's really effective. And uh, yeah. that uh, should uh, include honesty, respect. It's really important that we give uh, each other feedbacks, even even if they are uh, they are you know so, uh, not uh, exactly good uh, feedback. But you know when uh, you give your honest feedback, your honest opinion is uh, really helpful for uh, having a positive environment you you know that uh, your colleagues always want you to uh, do your best so even if they uh, have some comments on your uh, job it's because of mm -hmm. your your uh, self and uh, um, your progress mm, one another thing i think is that uh, everyone knows their uh, responsibility Everyone knows their yeah. role. It's really important that uh, uh, when uh, you know you know exactly what is your role, yeah. and uh, and when everyone uh, knows that there are no uh, misunderstandings, and uh, between uh, colleagues, between colleague and the leader, between uh, employee and the employer. Yeah, I think when you uh, know what uh, what they what you are expected to do. Uh, you can have a healthy uh, environment, a positive environment that uh, everything is uh, clear and the goals, the expectations, everything is clear and uh, it uh, really can uh, reduce stress and um, increase the positivity in the workplace. Uh, mm. Yeah. Um, when you talked about like meetings, you know, communications, um, I think, you know, just like how we always meet here in the mornings, like I think yeah. it's also, it's a thing, but I think also, um, the fact that, you know, always like more like always a uh, director, you know, he will not, will not just meet here in the mornings, but most of the time, you know, during the day, he will take time to meet each and every one of us, you know, yeah. individually. Yeah. 
see how we are um coping with our work how far we are getting along with our work you know and you know if you're having challenges you know you can always um let him know and he's always willing to help you know when you're having challenges so i think that's also a good thing you know because yeah. it's one thing um here as a group but it's another when you know you can be able to um to have access to uh to your manager to be able to help you be able to improve um on your yeah. tasks you know have a one that one on one i think actually you know helps you really become better at your work because then you're able to know um what you're doing well you know where you need to improve and things like that yes i think that's also always a good thing you know like the community and not just to be in a group but also that one on one um communication yeah. i think is also a very good thing yeah and i also yeah. think also that um to help uh you know make the environment more positive is that you know when people are joining uh you know when you're new at a place it's very important i think how people will receive you because you know you're still new you're not yet um very sure about the place yes i think also the onboarding process yeah so like i mentioned you know so many times more like we'll take time to actually meet everyone who is new um even if it's um an intern or anybody yeah you always take time you know to meet them to make them feel um welcome yeah and i think yeah. that's very very important yeah and because for me i really believe that um you know when when the when the workplace is positive when it's a, a happy place for somebody um, like someone will be motivated, you know, to do, uh, to do their work. Yeah, I think they'll be motivated to do their work. Yeah, so um, there's always this thing that we always tell people to, to love what they do and things like that. But you know, it can be hard to love what you do if the environment is not the best. Yeah. So even if you really maybe love the county or loved IT, whatever it is, um, yeah, you know, if you came into a place and um, your boss is always maybe quarreling with you, bugging you down. Like however much you loved um, the actual work, you might end up not actually loving what you're doing because of the environment. Yeah, so I think it also really stirs up that creativity um, yeah. in people. They love what they do and really put their hearts in what they do. I think because they, you know, um, because they'll feel like you you care for them. You know, you care for their well-being. And, you know, when you care for their well-being, you know, even how they do their work, I think, would be um, would be different. Yeah. 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 That makes you feel you are not alone, you know. And, yeah. Uh, and the, the way uh, he's, uh, he listens to you, mm -hmm. you, you make sure that uh, you have someone uh, to support you, you or uh, answer your questions, even if you uh miss uh understand something or uh you did something mm -hmm. wrong you know you don't think of a big think of it as a big deal you know that you can ask uh, people more like you and uh, everyone also uh are good listeners yeah yeah that's that, that's true yeah so it's just important to really think about the well-being of people because just imagine if you were working at a place and let's say if uh, maybe you were sick and you were not well and um, maybe um, your workspace does not understand you know and you know there's some workplaces that you know sometimes are like that you know if you say you're sick and maybe you need some days off they'll say okay we're going to cut maybe off your salary for the days that you're off you know they'll not understand that you're not feeling well so someone you know, okay, those extremes that somebody will be forced to come to work even when they're sick, yeah. So I think minding, you know, the well-being of people, I think is also important. Also something that more I say is that um, we, we, you know, when you're doing, most people, when, when we're doing business, we think about putting the money first, you know, before the people. But uh, I think it's something that I learned from him that, you know, we put people first, yeah. Because at the end of the day, you know, you put people first, you take care of them, and they're the ones who are going to give you the money anyway, or they're the ones who are going to make the money anyway, yeah. So if, let's say, our accountants are not doing well, they're not in the right um, 
headspace, then they're not going to make the money for the company. So I think it's just important to put people first, to put their well-being first. And um, yeah, a balance. And in that way, in return, I feel like people will work. Um, they'll be more productive in their in their yeah in their works yeah. in, in in their work. yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah someone else can go ahead and, and share yeah um good morning everyone morning no how are you so um for me how we can encourage a more positive um happier working environment is first of all we need to to socialize at the workplace um <laughs> You know, even though we are working online, it's very important for us to be able to socialize with um, with each other. You know, you might um, you know, like for instance, we here on Zoom. What I encourage um everyone to be doing is that it doesn't mean because you have a problem or you have an issue in an issue, then that's the time you go to somebody room and then say, hey, how are you? Please can you help me on this? No. Um, the person will just see like, oh, it's because, you know, the kind of mindset, oh, because he needs something, that's the reason why he's coming. So, but if you have, you build that kind of mindset, just taking out um, as if this is a physical, you know, a, a normal workplace, we are offline. So spend time to socialize, ask colleagues, you know, discuss on things, you know, let them feel love and know that, oh, what I'm doing here is like, let them just feel like it, this is a normal workplace, you know. Because if you're not socializing with people, then it's very bad. How can you be happy with in the workplace? Now I'm sitting here, I'm alone. The only way or the only time I'll be having a discussion is when I'll go, when Jessica will come in my room and then come and disturb me, come and give me a headache. So you see, that's the time I will be. So because I, as of now, I'm I'm just here alone. But I'll be only um be happy. If I have someone that will come to my room and then we'll discuss, or I'll go and I'll go to another person's room. So you see, first of all, try to socialize, discuss on what, um, different things. And another thing again, um, we need to be showing gratitude within the workplace, the working environment. Gratitude mm -hmm. is very, it's key within the working environment. Because if you are not grateful or you're not showing gratitude to your colleague, you will never be happy, sincerely. If you are not grateful, you are not showing that you never be happy because anything that goes that you are doing, you just feel like you are insecure. But trust me, if you show gratitude, it will enable you to connect with the people for um, or you will you be able to connect with them often. Yeah, because um, you can only if you are not grateful, you know, you're not showing gratitude. Then it means you don't want to 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 discuss with your colleague, and you don't want to connect with them. So connecting with people also shows like you you are grateful for them to be here with you. Yeah. Mm. That's how connection look um, goes. Because you're not only connecting, it shows that you are grateful. Oh, I'm connected with these people. I'm yeah, you show gratitude, discuss with them. It's kind to say when they when they do tasks for you, hey, thank you. Some of these words they, they go a long way. Another thing again, um, within the working environment, we should always celebrate and win. That's very, very key. It's very important. Just like um, last month, I was the employee of the month. So you see, these are all ways. It's, it's, you know, celebrate, um, do things that will make, we enable staff to feel like they are involving. That's will enable um, a working environment to be happier. But if every day I'm coming, I just feel like, oh, I'll feel insecure of myself. So you see, so you celebrate in small wins, try to discuss, you know, discuss have fun create time like this morning the session that we have and it's a wellness session each and every morning we discuss mm -hmm. we try to know we ask you what's your win what have you maximum you know some of these things what are you grateful for this this make the environment so be happier but if you just mm -hmm. sit down and say oh i ah, know nothing is going on then you'll always be sad and it's very bad so you see so celebrating small wins and accomplishments is a key within the working environment. So this is my own take on this topic. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Nora. Yeah, you mentioned the very important thing. You know, we need to be able to uh, to socialize even though we're working um, online. Yeah, so Jessica, you should not go to Nora's room just because you're having an issue. <laughs> Just say hello to Noah. 
He knows that I always say hello. He's just lying. <laughs> yeah, but it's an it's it's yet yeah, something to think about because I know you know most times when you're working um physically, maybe you would um have like tea with your workmates or you have lunch with your workmates and yeah. things like that. She's giving me a headache. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, we want to socialize. All right, yeah, Jessica, would you like to share something um, on this topic? Um, yeah, I'll just, um, in addition, I'll just say uh, we should try to reduce our biasness in the work environment because if people feel like they're not giving or others are being put like ahead of them and they are not being trusted in making their decisions or in handling certain work obligations, it tends to uh, dampen their mood and not feel like they are growing in the work environment. So I think uh, treating everybody equally and giving everybody an equal opportunity and the same platform to grow and uh, handle their task personally is quite important here, yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one also, you know, trying to avoiding um being biased or prejudiced or any kind of segregation. Yeah. Um yeah, it's good. Everyone should be welcome and everyone should be treated the same. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you so much, Jessica. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, guys. I will just thank close you, on meeting here. Um, yeah, I just have uh one 